We have wood screws yeah. and a screwer. Screws, screwer. Alright party people, welcome back to another video. So today, I need to find a solution to this. The broom. And I'll tell you why. So let's take a look inside here. Darn near killed myself for the second time. So instead of grabbing for this handle coming out, I grabbed this broom handle. And uh, yeah, I basically just uh, fell out the side door. So that's about two or three times it's happened now. And uh, this thing kind of swings around, makes noise, especially when the van it, uh, is not parked on the level surface. It gets in the way because it's kind of hanging like this. So it gets in the way of the door. So what I'm thinking about doing is trying to figure out somewhere to mount this guy. And I haven't showed you guys this yet. So I'll show you that later this afternoon or this evening. But I'm thinking I used a piece of PVC down here um, as an end cap to uh, this piece of black pipe. So what I think I can do is... I've got the rest of this PVC pipe. I can probably just mount some of that PVC pipe here and uh, hoping I can just kind of stick the end of this uh, broomstick through it and it can kind of live somewhere on the side of the sink here like such and not be too much in the way because I'm definitely running out of space. So maybe something like that. So, what I'm trying not to do is buy more stuff and uh, utilize some of the parts I have left over from the build. So I definitely have some of these straps left over, these two old straps here. I have some PVC left over, so I think the PVC will be big enough for this to fit in. So let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, so I've got some of this one inch PVC and if we get lucky, and we are lucky. That broom handle fits down in there pretty nicely and I think it'll be snug. And I've got some leftover end caps and a coupler and some leftover straps that I didn't use. So let's get to it. So let's see what length of pipe we need. I don't think we need that much. Um, just enough to hold the broom upright. And I don't want it to come up too far to interfere with any of the other stuff. So probably something about... You've got to give, be able to get the broom in there really easily. So the lower it is, the better off. I think if we do something where we can get two straps around there that can hold this upright somewhere right along there. Alright, let's try that. We'll keep the bicycle thing going here and we'll cut this pipe using our little part. Handlebar cutters. Uh, the beans. Let's get rid of the beans. So we've got our end here. Let's rough this up a little bit. Smooth it up. I'm not even going to glue this because it's really not doing anything other than holding it up there. So let's go uh, let's go give her a test fit with our. Let's see, I think probably two of these is about all we will need. And uh, see what happens. All right, so I just got this sitting up here right now. Let's just give it a test here and see if it's easy enough to get in there. Yep. I was worried about the, uh, the amount of overhead room up here because you want to be able to slide the broom handle in it, but it's like it's short enough. Take it off, rough it up, give it some, uh, some paint. All 
All right, a little bit of sandy paper. Sandy, sandy, sandy. Just want to scuff these up and we'll wipe them clean with some isopropyl nice alcohol. A little bit of alcohol. Isopropyl. That is. Take out this wood here. So I've been trying to use up this hammered Rust-Oleum, so that's what I'm going to use on this. Give it a good shake. And we will let that dry. While that is drying, let's go take a look at the next project. For this fold-out table here, to uh, put some hooks, hang some bags off the side. So one of the things I'm going to do, and we'll see this at the trail today, is when I sometimes if I cook on this, or if I do prep on this. Sometimes I'll do prep on the one on the inside. Um, what I'd like to be able to do, have some hangers here so I can put like a, uh, a grocery bag, a plastic bag like you get at the grocery store, just kind of hang it down. And I can just kind of clean it right up and it can kind of act as a trash can as well. So I've got some leftover J hooks and we'll see if those will work. All right, change of plans. Those uh, J hooks are too deep. So I found these other small brackets <clears throat> that um, little L brackets here so I think I can just kind of bend the tip of this enough to grab and it won't be as deep and uh, fit better so let's try this instead That's kind of what I'm looking for. Just enough to get something to hang on it. Might bend the end of it up just a little bit. And it's, the profile's fairly thin here. So, let's just squeeze these two points together a little bit tighter. Alrighty, I think we got a profile that might work here. Should I come off the end? Just enough kind of rake your goodies into the bag there. All right, let's see if we got enough clearance on the closure. This piece does not stick out past this piece of wood here, so it won't, it won't interfere with the door whatsoever. So, and the same goes for the, the one down here as well. It's, uh, it's almost flush with this board here, so I was concerned about it uh, being in the way of the door, but that is not going to be an issue. So yeah, so that's what we have there, and uh, just a little nice to have. All right, let's check and see if our PVC is dry yet. I'm going to install that. It is. All right. So our PVC is still not quite dry. It's just a little bit tacky to the touch. So I'm gonna let that dry another probably hour or so. And then we'll come back and uh, install it. I'll share an update I did this past weekend. Um, one of the problems that I've had is, is that I really don't have a good table solution for the passenger seat that swivels around and or if you're sitting in the inside in like one of the, the small uh, bench stools you had nothing really to either put a laptop on or put your food on or whatever so I looked at a, a bunch of different solutions and uh, just kind of googling around one night and come 
I found somebody that had a similar solution, so I just kind of tweaked it a little bit. Um, and what I came up with was this, um, this piece of black pipe here. And so I went to the local hardware store, got some black pipe. I think this is three quarter inch black pipe. And basically just sanded all the, the rust off the outside of it and painted it uh, with the same paint that I just painted that PVC pipe. And uh, put these straps around it to keep the base here. So basically I have two parts to this. And uh, typically, if the seat is swiveled around like such, you have a and you're sitting in this seat this table here is not big enough to have. it's too high first of all and it's not long enough to reach over here so i needed a good solution for that so what i do is i keep these two pieces inside the van and these these break down pretty small and so this can be my top and uh, so basically i just thread this black pipe together uh, this thing will rotate and swivel and so I can put it outside like such and you can adjust the angle of the, the actual plate you can adjust the height screw it down all the way tight or you can unscrew it and have a uh, you have a little bit higher table and so you know this serves a couple purposes if you're working on stuff outside it also serves as a complement to the cooking table here and you know it'll, it's pretty sturdy it'll hold you know just leaning up against it um, i wouldn't want to put too much weight on it but it's good enough to hold a laptop it's good enough to hold a dinner plate and maybe some water and so you can also take the top off and spin this to the inside and this can be your table so now I can have a uh, place to put my laptop I can put uh, whatever I need to put on here so we got a little bit of adjustability here now um, you put a laptop up here and uh, you can actually swivel it around to over here so if I'm sitting in a chair um, in the back of the van over there I can actually use this as well so either one so you know it's it's not uh, it's not gonna hold a ton of weight but it's good enough to uh, let me sit here and eat off of this you can sit here and work on your laptop do some video editing and even if the van is not level um, you can kind of level this uh, this tray out um, based on how you spin or untighten it, the, uh, the actual pipe fitting there. So, so there we go. And then uh, to uh, I just unscrew this to return it back to its uh, when I get done with it. I mean, sometimes I could leave that. Just store this down here in the tray. And... All right, I think we're finally dry enough. I'm gonna reattach it and give it the final test. All right, we've got our piece of uh, PVC reattached to the side of the sink base there. So let's just uh, let's give this a try and see what happens. See if it needs final approval. That should work fine. All right, give me a big thumbs up if you like the content. Please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, skill up and ride, van up and go.